Rosy Bird, welcome back to Pokemon Cafe Remix. Today, we are heading back into the action. We have order 10 to do. We're gonna be trying to do 10 more orders. Um, on top of that, there's probably some level ups and stuff we can do. Um, I think I need level two for Piplup. I don't know if there's an easy way to do that. Yeah, we could use some stamina to work on that a bit, but I think I'll save some of that for later. For right now, I think we're better off just going and doing our current order, which is order 10. Even though the game doesn't exactly work, as linearly anymore, we can unlock a little spot here in the antique parlor. Do you want to redeem your golden acorns to add into the slot? I don't see what else we're using these for, so sure, let's go for it. So there we go, now we have three slots open, and this is our customer, current customer Pokemon. So I could try this one. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how this works, it's a little weird. Um, But we'll try this, because apparently this is a good specialist. We could also try Charmander. So we have so many Pokemon unlocked now, I don't really know where to start. <laughs> That's the weird thing about how this game sort of, it restarts, but it stays the same, you know? Okay, for now, you can now use this useful item, Helping Paw. Try using it, using a Helping Paw to break a sugar cube. Helping Paw, clears a chosen Pokemon icon or gimmick. Only works on gimmicks what, that can be cleared with combos or skills. Okay. So. We got a paw right there. We would use it on that little sugar cube. Okay, well there we go, looks delicious. That's a good start. I guess up we need 20,000 points and also eight sugar cubes. So we'll get started with all the rallets first and foremost. There you go. Start breaking those up a little bit. I think we'll, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we will just try to earn up a second one, second power up. That'll probably be a good start. And there it is. So there's one star down. And if we combine these two, put that there, that'll be star number three. So pretty good start to everything. Pretty easy three star challenge. Okay. So some bonus experience for Rowlet as well. And we get three cookies for Eevee, which I guess we could put towards other things. Oh, here we go, this is new. Zebra, along with Eevee and others, we can came up with some goals for the cafe. Will you check them out? Sure. Oh, here we go. So this is sort of the season pass thing, as far as I understand. October and November goals. Collect stars, or I guess gold stars and blue stars by serving up orders and completing training, and receive fabulous rewards. If you purchase a premium pass, you can receive additional premium course rewards. Rewards are refer refreshed each month. Don't miss your chance to get some fabulous items and Pokemon outfits. That's cool. There are rewards waiting for you. Don't forget to claim them. Okay then, so as you can see, we have our premium pass, which I'll probably purchase in a moment, but if we can get to level 30, we get the Masquerade Lucario, which looks pretty cool. I like him. So yeah, that's sort of something new. We had outfits in the previous version of the game, but not many of them, but it looks like they're going to make that a more constant part of it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this premium pass, which is going to be $8.99. But this month's bonuses, we get 50% extra points for each event and add order slots. Interesting. So we can see some more information there. Okay, it brings us back here. Okay then, so we'll go ahead and get that and we'll move forward. Okay, so there's our premium pass purchased. Uh, this month's premium pass has been activated. While the pass is valid, you will enjoy the following effects. 50% more points from in every points event and additional order slot. Very cool. So that's useful to have around. So it looks like we have some stuff to claim. So we got 258 corns. We have a... Uh, some extra power-ups and stuff. Uh, the skill plus. I don't know if there's a claim all button. It doesn't look like it, so we'll just get all these. We got the megaphone maker. We have 15 of the uh, stamina crystals. Andrew saying. Got the whistle. We got another whistle. <laughs> they go from left to right. Uh, 500 acorns and then 15. I think that's medium megaphone and then one leader bell. Very cool. So obviously we'll have lots of levels to earn through and hopefully we can unlock some cool stuff along the way, but our main goal will be to get to level 30. Okay, you can use the above items as many times as you like until the timer expires. Oh, wow. So you know that was minutes. You can, you can play without using any stamina until the timer expires. So we are on the clock right now. Um, so let's go for that then. Um, I think we should probably use that here. Uh, like we need to level up. Rollet. So let's start with this. Seeing how the stamina is free 
at this point onward. So I should probably be a bit more strategic moving on on how and when I want to apply those. So 25,000 points, two sugar cubes and six whipped cream. Uh, so yeah, I could just right now, boom, do that. That was very loud. Yeah, I don't know why some of the sound effects in this game sort of seem not well balanced or very, very loud for some reason. Like that one, oh my goodness. Um, so that wasn't too bad. Still got some more whipped cream I gotta work through. Okay, put that there, and we should be good. And I wanna try to do that as soon as I can because of the fact that we only have a certain amount of minutes. Oh, is there still more? Oh, there is still more. Whoops, I guess I missed that. So that should be enough. There we go. So will there be a three-star bonus? Probably, three-star challenge. Uh, now it's three of those and four of those. Okay. And 12,000 points. The point shouldn't be too bad. Oh, I didn't realize I chose Rollet there. Well, I, we're actually running out of moves here. Gotta be careful. But that should be enough to fill that up. There's one star. Right there, perfect. I think we got all of them. Yep, really good. Okay, very cool. So we get 40 experience getting Rollet to level four. Good to see it, good to see it. So it looks like yeah, we have the nut gimmick right now. That's pretty good. Whoa, I guess it changed while it's hot. You got a new outfit, Bulbasaur Green. You can change your Pokemon's outfits to another you've acquired by tapping the Switch Outfits button. And we learned a new recipe with that. So I guess we could focus on that a little bit. But with that being said, uh, yeah, I guess we'll do this now, but then we'll try to unlock more recipes. See, with this one, it would be attracting Munchlax and Steeny, which we both, we have both of those Pokemon from the previous game. So, not really too much worrying about with that, but it's still good to get all the recipes. So for this one, we need to score 35,000, on sugar cubes, and 12 nuts. Okay, so we start with some pretty major stuff. Whoa, can I combine both of those? I can't, unfortunately, that would've been cool. Okay, I don't know if that's exactly where I wanted it, but it works for now. There we go. Okay, try to combine as many Eevees as I can and then break a couple of these. Not too bad. Right there, and that should be the last of the nuts out of the way. Now we can get the Eevees, break those two open. An 11,000 points shouldn't be too bad. Okay, we still need another thousand. So I guess we're combining all those. I didn't let go, so that was weird. We ran out of time really fast there, but there we go. New menu item done. It is the piquant, 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 I'm not sure, piquant, Pikachu curry. And then on track, on track and Steamy. New Pokemon will now be able to visit. That's always good. Okay, and that was actually um, a new order, so that's pretty cool. Next up, we need to get level three with Togepi and level three with Piplup. So I guess we can work on that stuff a little bit, just getting as many as possible. Actually, if we level up Piplup, that might be more efficient. Yeah, because we'll get this one and that one. Sure, let's go for it. Because she's almost at level two already, so it'll work out pretty well. Okay, 20,000 points. Four uh, sugar cubes and two nuts. Hmm. I think we'll just start with the pip ups for now. Could have been better, could have been worse. And then same thing with the Munchlax. Okay. So we should probably combine. The purple ones you can't combine. I guess they're already technically combined. There we go. And then right here, we'll do that. We'll save our power up so that if there is an extra star, yep, there's a three star challenge. Okay, so this actually looks pretty simple. Combine those two. What in the world? Uh, this is not what I was expecting. Whoa, so Piplops is weird. It has two going down. I was not expecting that. Um, well, I guess I could just combine more Piplops for now. It does get me the rest I need for the score and then put that there. Okay, we're, we're cooking. We're making this work. 
and there we go, all three stars. You can see these are blue stars. I don't really know what the difference is too much, but they do add up one way or another. And that is gonna be level two for Pip Up and level three. Very good, very good. So our staff leveled up, good job Pip Up. And that will make it so that Pip Up can get rid of the uh, whipped cream more easily, which is definitely a good one. Okay, so with that done, we unlock a delicious new recipe to, or well, I guess we unlock the ability to get the new recipe. What about some other stuff then? So we got the Pip-Up, we just need Togepi now, and then a lot of other Pokemon to work on. So we'll work on this one. Seeing how we still have eight minutes with this, I'm trying to make the most of it. Okay, combine to power up, yep, we know about that. So I'd love to hear, now that the game's been out for a couple of days, have you guys been able to try Pokemon Cafe Remix, and how much are you liking it compared to the original? Okay, so I wish that I could've hit both at once, but I can't really. So we'll just do that, and then maybe I will, yeah, if you do it right at the right angle, you can sort of hit more than one. We'll do a bit of that, and then same thing with Togepi. Very good. We should be able to do that one more time. Perfect. So that's a pretty good start. Next, I want to, uh, this is a bit of an interesting one. I, I don't know if that was the best spot for it, actually. Yeah, that could have been better. Okay, it's fine, though. I don't know if that was a combined one or not. But nonetheless, we'll just keep going. Okay, perfect. See, I want to sort of smush those together so we can get rid of more of them. And then we just have this last one. Oh, and there's also last whipped cream. But that megaphone gets both of them. Pretty cool. Good job, Togepi. So let's hope that gets Togepi to level three. Not quite, just to level two for now. But we'll go one more, and that should definitely help. If we can. Yep, remember we have infinite for the next couple of minutes, so definitely worth grinding out a bit. 60,000 points, two combos of 20 links and 10 whipped creams. This is probably one of the more difficult ones we've seen so far. I think that if we're worrying about combos, wow, that goes so far. That was great. Okay, so now, I think there's 20 Squirtles. Let's hope there is, there is, so that's good. And I think there's 20 Togepi. Come on, come on. Ah, only 18. There was 20, I just didn't get them all. But there's definitely 20 Grookey. Yep, there we go. Very good, very good. So there's two of those done. The whipped cream is sort of all over the place, so I think for right now we'll just focus on getting a score and get the whipped cream along the line. Not too bad. Right about there. The good thing about Togepi special is that it'll turn all the surrounding Pokemon into one specific. So that can be really good. Anyways, our last two whipped cream are sort of clustered up, so I might as well take that advantage. And now we can finish with us. I say that, but we still have the three stars to worry about. So definitely the levels are getting a bit more challenging as we move forward. But we have our three star challenge. 20,000 points, link of 15, which shouldn't be too bad. That should be, yeah, right here. Good stuff. Now we're still trying to get a score. That works. Okay, very good. And it turns all those into the same Pokemon, which we're not even gonna worry about too much. Instead, we're going to just combine a Megaphone, because I see this one here. Ah, that wasn't quite what I wanted. Ooh, that's actually, oh no, I ran out of turns. Okay, I don't want to spend 900 acorns for that because that's pretty expensive. Yeah, I sort of messed that one up towards the end. But that was our first uh, mistake. I got still two stars. So I don't get to try again with that. But seeing how we have infinite tries right now for the next couple of minutes, if not doing it perfectly, it's fine. Okay. So with that done, we're gonna move back out of here. And I think we're gonna leave this for now. I mean, I guess if we have the couple minutes, I probably should make the most of it. Okay, we'll, we'll keep working on it then. So we got uh, 
Sword Puff over this way. Got to level Sword Puff up a little bit. Haven't played a Sword Puff yet, so this will be fun. Okay. So 45,000 score, 10 sugar cubes, and 8 whipped cream. I think I'll try about there. I always feel like whipped cream is more difficult to get rid of, so if I could just do that, it's always good. Okay. Get that down here. And that's a bunch of the sugar cubes damage. Damaged, yeah. So. Okay, so far, I feel like we're doing good work. Okay, that could have been a little bit better. Hmm. So we gotta make the most of our turns. Darn, I couldn't really get them past. There was like a weird cluster in the way. Okay, get all these Eevees. That's one thing that sort of makes it difficult is it gets really cluttered, but I got them all there. Now we have a three star challenge and seven turns to do it. Okay, so for this one, think about there. That'll get rid of a huge chunk of them. And it'll also activate the megaphone, which gets rid of even more. Wow, okay. That was actually really good. And then the, the last three right here. So now all I have to worry about is the score, which it looks like we have a lot of slurp puff hanging out. So I'll try my best with getting all those. Almost all of them. And that's all the score we needed. Very good. So when it comes to experience, how do we do? Uh, we got 40. That's enough to get to level almost three. That would have been great, but still, staff level's up. The really good stuff is at level three most of the time. So we'll just start another one. This might be the last one, depending on how long it takes us. We might be able to squeeze in one more after this. Oh, there's some Dragonite. So four sugar cubes, four cream, and 10 nuts. Okay, so, oh, that's very productive, so I might as well. And then if I could squeeze all those guys in it, sort of shoving them all to the side, but still not bad at all. Okay, more than anything, maybe it's because the orange stands out, but I do see a lot of Dragonite. And that's enough for us to get another power up, which we can use to blast the two nuts away. So with that done, we just need a little bit of a higher score. Get the Snorlax in there too. So we're seeing more of a variety. That's always fun. Looks delicious. So, three sugar cubes, three whipped cream, and three nuts. The nuts right now are sort of just out and about. Oh, only two nuts. Which are both right over here. I would love to get both of them, but it's being real picky with me there. Okay, we'll leave that as it is. Let's get the Dragonite matched up. And that's one star down. Um, I think Snorlax is the most here. Sort of hard to tell. There we go. Oh, look at this. Perfect. So with those done, we have three moves left, but that's actually totally fine, because I just do that, and we're good. So I could have done this and see myself a turn, probably somewhere, but I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Okay, so that is definitely level three with Slurpuff. Exactly what we're looking for. And that should make it so that Sword Puff can get rid of uh, two nuts a turn. So that's really good. I think the nuts ones are really good because usually you need a superpower to do that, like a megaphone or the the ability. Okay, so with that out of the way, yeah, we have three seconds left. Can I do one one more time? Uh, ah, out of time. Oh, well, I tried. We got a good amount there. So we have a couple of recipes now we can put together, starting with this, it looked like grilled cheese Oh no, it looks like sandwich. Um, some kind of diglet sandwich. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, yeah, we'll use our leader here. And let's get started. So I think this is our first time playing with Snubble. 60,000 points and 28 whipped cream. It's definitely the tall order. We'll get those guys in there as much as we can. Got some Lucario showing up as well. I don't know if it'll show the custom costume when, once we unlock that in the bubbles. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so there's a power-up. 
And the only shame with this one is I could probably use something that's left to right much better, or right to left even. There are so many snubble. There's a couple more out of the way. Got more Lucario. And there's most of the whipped cream out of the way. The problem now is it's pretty spread out. Yeah, I probably could have done a better job there. But we have five turns remaining. Let's blast that out of the way. Since this is a, this is a recipe, we don't have to worry about the triple stars. It's just the one. So once we do this, should be done. Okay, so our new menu item is done. This is the Doug Trio Sandwich Trio. Delicious. And that is gonna attract a little Bulbasaur. New Pokemon will now be able to visit. Okay, well that's good. And more recipes are on the way. This time it is a spooky hot cocoa. Let's get to it. So this is a new menu item. We'll be playing as Togepi this time. This will attract Curlia as a regular customer. 50,000 points, 40 Togepi, 12 sugar cubes, and three nuts. I'm not quite aware of what Togepi special is, but I don't think we've leveled them up enough to really know anyways. Okay, this is maybe not the way to do this. We got lots of Lucario, so let's work through that first. There we go. That's smarter. Okay. Couple more out of the way. See, now there's plenty of room for Togepi. The more of this uh, sugar cube stuff we bust, the more room we'll have. Okay, so we have three moves left, but I think that's okay. Yeah, I'll do a bit of that. And that turns a lot more into of it into Togepi. Okay. Sugar cube is gone. And then put that there and get rid of the one nut. Perfect. And the last possible turn. New menu item done. This is the Hot Litwick Cocoa. Very cool. And there's Curlia. Okay. So our cafe is gonna have a lot of variety when it comes to customers soon enough. But for right now, I thought we had another recipe. Huh, weird, I guess not. I mean, these two are well on their way, so that's nice. And we got some others lined up as well. So that's good, it's starting to get more difficult to uh, level them up properly. But with that being said, now's maybe a good time just to work on orders instead. I didn't really get the chance to go into this before, but since we do have some time now, I did also wanna check out the shop because we do have the Remix Celebration Pack, which unlocks a new Pip Up costume. So I wanted to check that out for today's episode, the Pip Up Fody outfit or fun outfit. So that is another 799 and will also give us 9,800 acorns. So yeah, I thought that'll be our first item showcase of this series. And there we have it. You got a new outfit, floaty fun Pip Up. So adorable. I love it. So there we go, got that unlocked. Okay, keep moving forward. So, with that out of the way, we don't have to worry about any of these other deals, not too interested. Obviously the premium pass, which we already have purchased. And speaking of premium pass, we should have some extra stuff unlocked. Okay, so we're now at the level seven. So, if I wanna get these now, I guess it's not too big of a deal. Got that. The helping paw. Also have the uh, Megaphone Maker times two the, uh, which one is this? This is the Megaphone Maker times one from left to right. And then finally the whistle from left to right. So yeah, pretty good progress. We'll keep chipping through that. I mean, we've gotten through seven levels in the first day. So we just need to get to level 30 throughout November. So we have plenty of time. In the meantime though, do you sometimes wish you could be even friendlier with a customer, Zebra? If so, why don't you serve a heaping helping? What is this? Serving a heaping helping will help give you plus two friendship level or plus two cookies when serving drinks and dishes. When a Pokemon you quickly want to befriend visits the cafe, try serving a heaping helping. A heaping helping lets you serve a large serving of a menu item you've prepared. Interesting. Oh, you have a heaping helping ticket. <laughs> that is a tongue twister. Use it to serve a large portion. 
Serving a heaping helping will give you plus two friendship level or plus two cookies upon completing an order. Do you want to use your he your ticket to serve a heaping helping? Sure. So if you want some bonus stuff there, we have unlocked this over here. So we got Munchlax. See, so yeah, we're not seeing any Pokemon that are new right now because I think we just simply have unlocked all the Pokemon that are available to show up at the moment. So I already have enough cookies for Eevee. I don't exactly know where I go with me messing with those, but we could do something else. Maybe I could work on Togepi a little bit. There we go. So for this one, the specialty is right over here. So order number 11, let's get started. You got some handy items. Whistles, there are two types of whistles, vertical and horizontal. Try using the two types of whistles to break the sugar cubes. So the whistle up and down close a vertical line centered on the spot you choose and the whistle horizontal, of course, clears a horizontal line on a spot you choose. Okay, so 10 sugar cubes is the goal here. Specialty gimmick activated, but I think for right now we're just focused on this. So clears a vertical line centered on the spot you choose, so I can just choose right here. And Eevee will come and blow the little whistle. We'll do the same thing over this way. Perfect. And there we go, it looks delicious. Now for our three star challenge, five sugar cubes and 15,000 points. Shouldn't it be too bad? Can start breaking those up a little bit. We already got one of the challenges done. Oh, there we go. Just barely did that in time. And I think this will finish some of them off at the least. I think we could do the rest manually. Wow, look at this. We're gonna get so many points here in a moment. We got 45 of them, 46 actually. Not bad. Okay, and there's that order done. Three more stars for us. And we get some bonus experience for Togepi and five cookies. Whoa, what's this? Uh, whoa, it's Charizard. Adept Charizard. He's rustling. Huh? Zebra, don't you think that bush looks suspicious? Grrr. What? It's a Charizard? Grrr. Okay, cool. What's going on, Eevee? Do you know this Charizard? Now that I think about it, I might have had ordered, had an order prepared by this Charizard before. <laughs> Getting all my words mixed up, I'm so excited for Charizard. Charizard, were you helping out at another cafe by chance? Char. Oh, it hit again. Hmm, maybe if it was a different Charizard. Do you think it came by to check out your cafe, Zebra? Either way, it's our chance to show what we can do. Let's make our customers so happy that Charizard turns green with envy. So what is this? You can earn points based on the number of yellow and blue stars you earn by completing orders and training. If you earn points, you can get rewards and Charizard will join the staff. When a bonus Pokemon visits the cafe, it's a great chance to learn, earn lots of points. And if you've purchased a premium pass, you'll earn 50% more points. So this is cool, this is the Adept Charizard until November 10th. So we would have to get this all the way to level, what, to unlock Charizard? I'm not sure. Oh, did I pass it? Maybe I just have to get it to 10? Oh no, I see that, I need to get this sort of peppermint thing to 10 to unlock level one. Charizard's at level 12, okay, gotcha. So for right now, the point bonus seems to be, oh, this is so interesting. So we have Eevee and Rowlet are the point bonuses. Okay, then I think we know what to do. That seems really cool. We'll keep working on that and hopefully unlock Charizard sooner rather than later. Zebra, do you have customers other than these Pokemon you'd like to take orders from? If so, leave it up to your staff and have different customers stop by. Shuffle customers. Tap the shuffle customers button to bring in different customers. Shuffle customers when you have Pokemon you want to build a friendship with or an event Pokemon you'd like to stop by earlier. Okay, so nearby Pokemon. Do you want to redeem your Pokemon or your golden acorns to bring in nearby Pokemon? Pokemon who have already visited the cafe will not appear. Sure. Even though I do need to earn more stuff with Eevee, this isn't too bad either. So we could shuffle it again, but this time it will cost acorns. Hmm. I think for now we'll keep it like this. And what do we wanna work on? I guess we could do, uh, we could do Steeny. I like the look of Steeny right now. 
and let's do order number 12. I do want to do something with Piplup so we can check out the Piplup costume. You got a handy item, a leader bell. Leader bell turns any chosen helper Pokemon's icons into a leader Pokemon's icons. Ooh, interesting. So we have 30 Togepi is what we need to get here. So to use the leader bell, choose a Pokemon other than the leader. So there's a lot of Eevee. So we could do that. And ta-da, it's all Togepi. So I guess now we can just match all of that up and we have well more than 30, we have 43. I missed one, <laughs> whoops. Looks delicious. The three star challenge out is going to be 15 Togepi and a link of 15 and 30,000 points. There's actually not too bad. What we wanna do is clear out the things that aren't Togepi so that we can make sure we have at least 15 Togepi hanging out. And this is looking like more than 15 to me. I mean, it looks like I was right. There's at least 23. So now I just need a certain amount of points. So unlocking, or I guess connecting all these uh, Sobbles will definitely be enough. And there we go, all three stars. As easy as that. Okay, a culinary masterpiece yet again. And that'll be level four for Togepi. Staff leveled up. So I think right now we're trying to get to level five so that we can get a new thing here. It's the bubbles, which I haven't even gotten as a level gimmick yet. Oh, we get the uh, Bulbasaur green hat. Yep, very cool. So, oh, we get the bonus candy there, that's good. So there's a couple of things progressing right now. First, I'm gonna go to my Pokemon, because I don't know if uh, Piplup has the costume that we got her, or them, uh, unlocked, switch outfit, to this. There we go, the floaty fun. So hopefully we can uh, showcase that in today's episode. I mean, one way to easily showcase it would just be doing some training missions. So let's go and get those done. So typically in the previous series, I would do 10 missions an episode, but with how this works, it might be easier just to do five because there's so much other stuff to do in the game. We might change as we go along, but for right now, our goal is to get 20,000 points, but you can see the Piplup. Oh, this is so cute. The Piplup actually has a different costume here as well. So that's really cool. I like that. I see a lot of Hatrim. So I'll match some of that up. Then same thing with all of this. Trying to, whoa, get rid of all that, all the sugar cubes right now. Uh, okay, this actually isn't quite working how I thought it would, but that should be good, I think. Whoa, that is so many. So we got rid of the nuts, just need to do that. We should have our triple star now. Hmm. I do see a lot of Piplup, so we'll just work on that. Yeah, I'm not sure what Piplup's thing is just yet, but I guess we'll find out sooner or later. Okay, we're matching Hatrim. That's not exactly what I was trying to get there. But I think with this special... Oh my, they're not quite separated the way I thought they would. Okay, that power-up is so weird. Definitely need to get used to it. Okay, one more. Right there. <laughs> Perfect. And that'll be the uh, challenge done. So there is another culinary masterpiece for us. And three more stars. So not quite level four for Piplop, but I wanna go for it one more time. So yeah, it looks like we do for Piplop have the special gimmick of getting rid of the uh, whipped cream. That's good. They are level three right now, so we're still not quite there with this. We're gonna go for one more though, just so that I can get a better look at this costume, we can showcase it a bit more. Cause I would love to do more costume showcases like this. This is always fun. Okay, so for this one, 20,000 points, four sugar cubes and two nuts. I think for right now, mostly gonna focus on this over here. Very cool. Got it. And I think, hmm, Pippo still has a difficult sort of setup in my opinion for this specific level type. I don't know why they keep giving it to us, but they do. Okay, that is so many Pippops out. So many. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that, break it a little bit more. And I'm hoping that I can just get rid of those two nuts just like that, perfect. 
and I'll make a couple of extra uh, horns, but I think for right now, we just want to do that. Go, go, go. Good stuff. Oh my. Get all the bleasels. I can't wait to level up Bleasel a little bit. That's one of my favorite Pokemon. Looks delicious, three-star challenge now, coming in. Okay, so I think for right now, we don't make it too complicated. I just need to get rid of that stuff. Do this, and then we have four turns to earn. Uh, we'll find out in a moment. Or was that all, oh, that was all of it. Okay, nice, Never mind. Didn't think that was gonna get all the points I needed, but it was. Awesome, a culinary masterpiece for us. And also three more stars. So Pitbull is now level four. Glad to see it. And I think I'll see that there. Oh, that's so cute. So that even changes the uh, scarf that time. Bulbasaur green for Piplup. Okay, so you can see that right over here. But we're gonna keeping with the, we're going to be keeping with the uh, floaty fun for now. But I think you know that's enough showcasing. We do make some progress here and at the other spot. So. That's gonna be even more of this. We have the 15 minutes for that. I'm gonna save that for later. Just don't activate it yet. But we do get refreshing tarts, which I don't know exactly what those do just yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out sooner or later. Yeah, being at level eight already is pretty cool. And then same thing with uh, Charizard over here. Whoa, you got a reward, Salmon or Crystal. So I end up getting one anyways. Don't activate it just, oh, no, too late. <laughs> over this way, we get uh, Megaphone Maker times two. And did we reach level three? Oh, we did, we're making so much. Okay, so that's skill plus times one. And that's it for now, but at this rate, we'll be making progress in no time. We're already one fourth of the way there to Charizard. So you have 15 minutes of the extra stamina, but I wanna make progress with some other stuff if I can. Um, going over here, if I could, well, plus 400%. That sounds great, we got our first visit by Charizard. He's so adorable in this game, I love it. Here are some handy items for completing orders. Skill plus, adds a cafe skill icon to a random spot at the start of an order. Megaphone vertical maker, adds a megaphone facing up or down to a random spot at the start of an order, and then the megaphone horizontal maker, adds a megaphone facing right or left to a random spot at the start of an order. Okay, pretty cool. I don't think I wanna use any of those just yet. We could use more Piplup here if we wanted. That might be worth it because our Minchino isn't upgraded enough to actually have any of the special gimmicks. So we'll do this, maybe we'll level up Minchino a little bit. But for right now, uh, let's go for it. So we'll be able to get rid of the sugar cubes more easily. Special to gimmick activated. Nice, try using cafe skills and megaphones to clear objectives. So I guess I could. Right about there, wow, productive. Um, And then maybe the same thing, oh no, excuse me. Right about there. Okay, pretty cool. So maybe I shouldn't have used Piplup because, uh, you know, these are still around. Oh no, or maybe I got it mixed up because that got rid of it right away. Okay, well that's really good. Boom, looks delicious. So what's our three star challenge then? Even more. But I think for the most part, that should be fine. Gets rid of a decent chunk of everything. Let's get more Piplup out here. Go to that last whipped cream. And then I think this about there should do the trick. Will that be 2,000 points? It will be. Very good, that was easy. So 400% for Charizard. I think that there's supposed to be little mints. I'm not entirely sure, but 10 more experience points as well. Let's see that, 30 a bonus brings us to 165. That's crazy. Yep, so as you can see, you got a reward, crispy tart M2. And then we also reach level five, so that'll be 500 acorns. So we're making quite a lot of progress. I don't think quite level six, yeah. So we're almost at that halfway point, very exciting. For now though, let's do another custom order. We could just get even more. Huh, oh look, the Pokemon you took an order from is still here. If you give it your, your all now, the customer may place an additional order. A Pokemon whose order you took previously can now stay for an additional order. You need golden acorns to take an additional order. 
but it's a big chance to raise your friendship level with the same Pokemon again. Why don't we serve more menu items? Okay, am I gonna, I have to pay? Do you want to redeem your golden acorns for an additional order? I mean, not really. <laughs> I feel like the, the, the customer should be paying me. <laughs> What's going on here? Um, yeah, I'd rather just focus on some other Pokemon for now. Uh, maybe we could work on Rowlet. That'd be great. So yeah, we'll do this one. Go through Eevee or Piplup. I think we'll keep with Piplup. Okay, sounds good. Order 14. We got a specialty gimmick unlocked. And we will do Piplup to start with because Piplup's gonna get rid of the whipped cream very easily and there's more of that than anything else. So definitely good working on, good to work on that. Okay, uh, too bad it's a little crowded in there so I couldn't actually get what I wanted. That was unfortunate. Okay, that's a bit better. The only thing is that I'm just not super into Piplup special. The way it shapes out isn't often super helpful. You don't have to worry about it too much for right now. We got tons of Curlia. Okay. So combine even more Piplup and then, come on, right down there. Get rid of that one. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Whoops. Okay, we'll break that. Get this about there, and then I'll get rid of the rest of those. That's good. Okay, so our three-star challenge is gonna be 20,000 points, 20 Piplup, eight sugar cubes. Okay, well, we'll work on Curlia for now. Get all that right there. Because we can use the super and get rid of the rest of the sugar cubes, no problem. Now the problem is getting rid of all the Piplups. But it doesn't have to be a chain of 20 Piplups, okay. That actually makes it easier. It's just 20 Piplups in general. And there we go. Very good. So there is another culinary masterpiece for us. We'll get those like it's no problem. And Rowlet seems to be pretty happy. Gets three candy or, or cookies. I also get some other candy. So I guess we'll leave that right there. We got the order 15, which is what I wanted. Uh, but it looks like we got some more progress, but not quite um, love up, even though it says they're still, oh, because I haven't obtained that yet, which I do want to save that for later. I got Buizel walking around, I like it. Yo, which Pokemon need to be upgraded? Right now we need to get Mancino to level three. I think getting all the Pokemon to level three is probably gonna be a pretty big goal. So I think that's what we'll focus on for the rest of today's episode is using up the last of this infinite stamina. So 50,000 points two links of 18, and nine whipped cream. So let's hope that this is gonna be 18 of them. Yes, it is, that's good. Let me make some progress. Okay. Hmm. Let's get the Meowth. That wasn't too bad. Sort of trying to make everything work. Oh, this is good. Right there. That's a bunch of them gone. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, really good. So I wanna do one of these moves to see if I can't get any door cream to sort of get out of their little pockets, but not really. So what I think I wanna do, oh, I got one of them out of there. Get rid of the ones that are on the right side because our special power goes to the left. Okay, I'll we'll get the Mancino. Right there. Good stuff. So we have one more left. We can get some bonus points along the way. Okay. So for our three star, it is going to be six more with 25,000 points. That wasn't too bad. The only problem is we have three moves left over. That is a little concerning. Uh, okay, I don't know if that was actually the best move or not. Oh, not quite. Hmm. The problem is this guy up here, because even if I get this now, still not gonna get that. Okay, well I tried my best, just didn't quite work out. Definitely not worth 900 acorns. 
We're gonna keep moving. We still get two stars though. That's not bad at all. And 35 experience. So now uh, Manchino's level two. We just need level three for right now. So if we could go for another one real quick. And remember, this is totally free for us to do. We have infinite stamina. So even if we don't get all three stars, it really is no sweat. 70,000 points, six sugar cubes, six whipped cream, and four nuts. Okay. Not too bad of a start. I see a lot of Celebi. Actually, maybe not too many. Okay, this time there's definitely a lot of Togepi. Okay, and there's another power up for us. Pretty good. Can match that right there. That gets rid of a lot of the little objects around. Almost all of them. Okay, maybe not the best spot. I always thought that was three wide, but it's only two wide. Okay. So get that right about there. And we have so much Sobble. That should be great. And let's see what our three star challenges are. So two of whipped cream, sugar cubes, and three nuts. And 10,000 points, but 10,000 points is actually not very much. That might be 10,000 points right there. Yeah, that's 14,000. So I think I might just wanna keep with this, see if we can't get another power up. That's good. And getting rid of the nuts right now will probably be our best bet. Now there are still whipped creams around. And there we go. Okay, so we only had one turn left there, so that was actually pretty good. And will that be level three? It looks like it is. Very cool. So there is the special gimmick for Mancino. Glad to get that out of the way. Oh, and we got a new recipe unlocked with that. So we'll definitely check that out soon. But for right now, I'm trying to make the most of my time, so maybe go back over here. Oh, these would take a while, wouldn't it? Because one of these it requires level five. Okay, for right now, we'll still do this. Because we have four minutes left over, so we probably can get Curly at a level three. That'll be good. That's going to be 50,000 points, four sugar cubes, and 10 whipped cream. Okay, not a bad start. Oh yeah, this one's sort of diagonal. So I guess it should be working on the left side a little bit more. Because we have a power up that'll get rid of the, the right side quite easily. Definitely better to get rid of this. Okay, but we can combine this so you can see how it works. Okay. I see a bunch of munch, bunch of munch lax. <laughs> And we could sort of make that work right there. And that should be the rest of this first star. So seven turns to get the three star challenges done. I don't think that'll be a problem. So once again, we'll spend most of our energy getting stuff done on the left side since the power ups sort of work better on the right side. Okay. I think Rowlet's my best bet here. There we go, that was actually really good. So just two sh whipped cream. I think, I, yeah, I see both of them. There we go, and we're good. And there we have it. So can I do one more? I hope I do, because that'll also be a level three guaranteed. Yeah, we can. We'll have just enough time for it. So very similar, 50,000 points, four sugar cubes, 10 whipped cream. This looks basically identical in terms of the challenge, except there's just different Pokemon here now. Okay, I think it's fun to do the Curlias here. Lucky with how this is formed, 
it's pretty easy to cluster everything up and get a lot done at one time. See a lot of Stoutland. But yeah, it's been pretty fun returning to this game recently. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys have been too. We'll definitely be playing more of it. Unfortunately, when it was just originally Cafe MX, eventually I got a little busy and just couldn't keep up with the game as much as I typically like to, and we fell behind on some events, but I'm hoping with this sort of new start with the game, we can keep up with the events a bit better. But there we go, got the three-star challenge done. And now, or that was a one-star. Now we can move on to the three-star challenge. Huh. Oh no, I sort of messed that up. But I can do that. Oh, there's tons of Stoutland. Okay. There's the first, or the second star. That should be fine. And we have one more left that we can use with the horn. And the megaphone, or whatever it is. Okay, very cool. So that should be level three for Curlia, and it exactly is. So that'll make it that she has a special gimmick for pumpkins, which sounds really good, because pumpkins typically take like two superpowers to get rid of. So the Pokemon can just get so much stronger in this game than they could the previous. That's exciting. So that's not gonna unlock any recipes there, but we do have one last recipe to deal with here, and this will be the last order we do for today for sure. Uh. So yeah, let's get started with this new menu item. And we're using a uh, Slurp Puff, I think. 45,000 points, 35 Slurp Puff, and 16 Nuts, which is their specialty gimmick. So as you can see, I can just sort of mash those up and get rid of them nice and easily. Same thing over there, get rid of two more. I do think I want to get rid of some of the other Pokemon now, just so we can make more room for Slurpuff. There we go. Okay, and that's lots of this power up. That should get rid of, I think, about five of them. Oh, even more. I got rid of six of them. Okay, so we're running out of moves, but I think we'll be fine. Yep. Perfect. Get rid of these two, and we're good. See, the recipe ones are always a little bit more difficult, but they also don't have the three-star challenge, so it balances out. New menu item done, the Swablu Shaved Ice. Very cool. And that will attract Starly and Bulbasaur, or Squirtle, sorry. <laughs> you didn't hear me say that, please don't get mad. <laughs> there are some people who get so upset when I get the Pokemon names and stuff. I promise it's not on purpose. Okay, so that was cool. We are now going to check out our rewards for Charizard. That is uh, a Megaphone Horizontal. And I think that's all we got for this one. Or at 70 out of 300, so the, the cost of them are getting way higher, but we are getting a whole lot closer to Charizard. We made a lot of progress for one episode, and uh, we are level nine here as well. Very cool. So I'll unlock another whistle, and uh, two more of the uh, helping pause. So that's good, we're more than halfway to level 10. Remember, we're trying to get to level 30. But yeah, today's episode was a lot of fun. We worked on getting a lot of Pokemon leveled up, and we got to check out the, uh, what was it called? The the Piplup, the, uh, the little floaty Piplup. That was really cute. So we'll be doing even more in the next episode to work towards these other goals and events we have going on. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Cafe Remix. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.